welcome to Hoopty Doo. Today we're going to learn the hug weave with a back roll. And if you don't know how to do the hug weave, then you'll need to go back to the tutorial I have on the hug weave. And it's one of the premium videos as well as this one. So if you know how to do the hug weave, we'll continue on. So basically what we're going to do is start at the end of the move and learn that part. And when you know that part, then you can do the whole thing. So uh, when you do the hug weave, if you remember, the hug weave is, it looks like you're hugging yourself, okay? And if you can see, I'm going to focus on the back roll with the hand, the arm that goes under, which would be the, the hoop in the left hand, okay? That's the arm that's under, okay? And that's the one that's going to do the back roll over. So keep your eye on the red hoop, and then you'll see, you'll see what it looks like. Okay, so the red hoop is doing the hug weave, and when it comes up, it's going to go across your back. Okay, so let's start with just one hoop and show you how that works. So let's, to practice it, it's always good to put your other hand in the position that it's going to be in when you're actually doing it with both hoops. So we're going to start with the, a left hand, and it's the hand that will be the arm that goes under when you're doing the hug weave. There are, the nice thing about this move is there are no hand change positions, okay? So it, the hand position stays the same. Okay, so here we go. The hand is going to start with the thumb pointed, pointed that way, and it's my left arm, okay? And you're just going to grab the hoop, and when it's doing its weave by itself, in the front, in the back, in the front, in the back, when it comes to the front and it's ready to go into the back, instead of making it go into the back like that, you're going to bring it up and roll it, <laughs> hopefully better than that, and roll it across your back. So you're doing the weave, front, back, front, back, front, back. Here we go. And it's going to go over. You're just taking the same hand position and you're just bringing it up over your back. And the place on your back that you want to bring it across is right at the base of your neck. You don't want to actually do it where your shoulders are. It's just right at the base of your neck. Okay, so let's try that again. There we go. It's, it's really an easy move if you already know how to do the hug weave. The hug weave, I think, is, is the real bear, the one to learn. Because um, you're twisting your arms in a way that's not very comfortable until you really get used to it. Okay, so you do any weave, front, back, front, back, and you bring it up around, and you catch it in the same hand position. You catch it in the same hand position as when you're starting. So throughout the whole thing, you do not change hand position. And after you catch it, then you bring it back and do it over again, if you want. Okay? So you can keep going. Front, back, front, back, front, over. And then you bring it back and you can do another one. Or you can continue the weave. Okay, so we go front, back, front, back. Here we go, front, roll, front, back, front. Once you get that down, it rolling across the base of your neck, then we'll add two hoops, okay? So when you're doing the um, hug weave with two hoops, okay, here we go, and basically you just ignore the right hand, which is just doing a forward weave. Remember the right hand, the purple hoop. This is doing a forward weave. Front, back, front, back. And then the, le the left hand, which is the hand underneath, it's going to do the back roll. So when it comes down, down the red hoop, watch the red hoop, and it'll go, and and you can, 
Okay, you can pause the hoop in the right hand a little bit if you want until you get more stable with the left hand. Let's try that again. Okay, so you've got your red hoop in your left hand. And when you catch it, then the, the hoop in the right hand is starting to go behind your back. And the hoop that you just caught needs to go also head for your back. Okay? And try to do it slower. So you're just doing exactly the same hand position the whole time. And just work on the back roll. Do it over and over and over again. If you're left-handed, try the other hand under and go the opposite direction. Um, just keep doing, practicing the one move, the hand roll or the back roll with one hoop, but always hold your other arm that's going to be in the position where it would be if you were actually doing it with two hoops. Always remember to hold that arm there because it helps your brain to remember that there's going to be a second hoop involved. Okay? So just keep practicing the move and um, don't get discouraged. Um, just remember, if I can do it, anyone can do it. Okay? And make sure you watch my video on hoop de doo the early years. Um, it will give you a lot of encouragement that uh, you really can do this. Okay? So thanks for watching. Happy hooping.